Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be playing with this new Draw Warbreakers deck. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. This Draw Warbreakers deck is one of the most underrated draw decks in the meta right now. And there's only one player using it on top 200 ladder and absolutely crushing everyone. And I, I saw him playing this deck. If I don't be wrong, he's a Russian player. And I saw him playing this deck. And then I said, yeah, let's give this deck a try. And wow, Pekka at the start of the game. Okay, let's see. I'm just go for my draw at the back and then bats as well. Because he has to, most likely he's going to rage or zap the bats. Yep, there it is. I'm going to just go wall because to cut one of these guards backwards. And he has to respond to these wall because otherwise I'm going to get a lot of damage. Okay, let's go bang, bang, two connections. And I can take care of that Pekka easily with Inferno Tower. And one of the facts that this deck is really, really good is because of the Inferno Tower. You can be aggressive, as you guys saw with it, what I did. You can be aggressive with your draws bats, draw warbreakers and stuff like that. And then just defend your enemy stuff with, just with an Inferno Tower. And as you guys know, Evil P.E.K.K.A. is meta. Everyone is running it. So you can easily defend your P.E.K.K.A. decks, their pushes and stuff, just by placing an Inferno Tower. or And also, you know, protecting your Inferno Tower a little bit with, uh, well, let's say, a log or yeah log or i don't know bats and stuff and wow pack at the bridge okay i'm gonna go in front of tower it's gonna arrow to uh I, i'm gonna try to kite this pack uh i don't know if it's gonna get kited fully or not but i guess he's gonna get some really nice pack damage i guess he's gonna get like two hits but i'll see okay he's gonna rage i guess if he didn't rage he would have got only one pack shot but it's all good there's nothing much i can do as you guys can see the, yeah, the card is insanely broken, so I just don't know what are they waiting for uh, to nerf it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go for my Bass's Bow over here because he does not have uh, arrows nor rage. So, yeah, he has to spend a lot of elixir to defend this, which is great. Let's go for my Log. Wait, he has to pop the ability. Okay, good. That's good. If he didn't, those evil bats would have uh, killed that doctor guy as well. Okay, let me see. He has to go pack out of the back. If he, I'm going to go Valkyrie and then Warbreakers. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That's exactly what I want. I guess the Valkyrie is going to get to the tower. Now, he's going to arrow this, but it's fine. Let's go for my draw at the back of his tower. And then I'm going to go for my bats. I guess I should have went Spirit Goblin. So that would have been a lot of a lot better play, but he's going to rage them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for my log over here. And then I am going to play my Inferno Tower as late as possible. Try to play your Infernos as late as possible, guys. Because this way, you're going to, you know, uh, save the Inferno Tower health. And it's not going to die to, I don't know, like, Arrow's Rage or something. Or their spells, you know. Because if you're if the Inferno Tower health is low, they're going to just Rage Arrows or Rage Zap or whatever spell combination they have. They're going to just play it and Inferno is going to be just gone. So let's go for my Fireball over here. Lock Fireball kills the Doctor guy, which is super important. And then we should be fine. Those, both of the Infernos are going to just crush this pack out. Okay, wow. Wow, he's just spamming everything, man. Just so that pack out breaks through, bro. Okay, wow. He played even the Doctor guy at the... What is he doing? I mean, like, I get the point that he pop popped the ability, but... I don't think so that really worth it. I'm going to just go for my log over here. Okay, I thought he's going to play guards for the Warwickers. It doesn't really matter too much. I still got some damage, which is what matters. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let's go for my Spear Goblins off to the side. And then I'm going to go Bats and then uh, Draw as well. He does not have arrows. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to lock. Oh, uh, that, that Pekka is going to kill both of them. If I got only one Warwicker connection, that would have been perfect. But it's all good, though. I can just go for my Inferno Tower, and that is going to pretty much clean up everything. going to go Bats, because he has, like, no way killing them, which is great. And that is going to just kill everything. going to just go for my Fireball. Definitely going to take that Fireball value. And then I am going to just go for my Draw on his Tower. Going to Log as well. The guy, the Doctor guy, and also maybe Guards. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I need two Fireballs to win the game. Okay, let me see. One Fireball, one Log is not enough. So I need to cycle two Fireballs. Going to go for my Inferno over here. And then I'm going to Evil Valkyrie. Good that I saved my Evil Valkyrie. That's going to kill everything over there. Okay, perfect. Now I just play my uh, Fireball and that's going to be GG. So really nice and over there against this Goblin Giant Pekka deck. And I'll see you guys in the next game. On the next game here, we're up against Bubre. So let's see what you're playing. I'm going to start by playing my Bats at the back. And then the, the play, the starting play that I really like to do with this deck is to go bats at the back and then draw at the back of your opponent's tower. If you have bats in cycle, it's super, I would say, annoying for your opponent to deal with, especially if they don't have a good core cycle and it gives you a lot of damage as well. Okay, once again, Pekka. Okay, I would say it's going to be definitely Pekka Balloon, I would say so. 
because the only deck that has Barber and Pekka in it is the yeah Pekka Balloon. Uh, interesting. He got Lightning. Mm, though that Balloon deck has Freeze. Okay, let's go for my Warbricks over here because he does not have a he does not have Barbaro, so he has to play something else. He's gonna go for the Ice Wars. It's all good with me. Let's go for my Valkyrie, I guess. Yeah, let's play my Valkyrie over here a little bit lower because I don't want to waste any more Elixir. And then I am gonna play my draw the back of a tower because he does not have his uh, pack in hand. And let's go for my bats as well. Okay, that's gonna be some really that's a really good push for me. I'm gonna take a lot of damage on his tower. That Valkyrie's gonna get at least two swings. Okay, that's great. I could have fireball that, I guess, but it's a like kind of recommitment, and I don't know what what is this guy's win condition. It's definitely not balloon though, for sure, because with the balloon they always run freeze. Uh, lightning doesn't make too much sense with the balloon guy, to be honest for me. So yeah, it should be either Ram Rider or Goblin Giant. Let's go for my Inferno over here. It's a little bit too soon Inferno. But I don't have any other choice right now. I'm gonna go for my draw. I'm gonna pressure him as well so he can just play his win condition and then lightning my inferno tower away. Because if I don't play the draw right now, he's gonna he's gonna just spam everything and then he's gonna put his lightning. And yeah, as you guys can see, he's gonna do this and he's gonna just win the you know win the game. And he ignored that draw. That was like one of the biggest mistakes that he did, bro. That's gonna be tower down. So that ice was gonna also do nothing for him. Okay. I would say that this game is pretty much GG's just over for him. Like, he can do, like, maybe make up one more push and maybe, I don't know, break through or something, which I doubt the fact that he does because Inferno is just insanely good against against him. And, yeah, he's going to just clean up everything unless he gets the uh, insane lightning value or something. But we'll see. So, uh, just go for my lock. And then I'm going to fireball the Inferno E-Drag. He's going to play it. Yep, there you go. Going to fireball that. Pew! And that's gone. And then I'm going to just go for my Valkyrie. Oh, that was a little bit mistimed, I would say so. Or misclick, something like that. I should have played the Valkyrie a little bit lower. But it doesn't really matter. We won the game. And that's what matters. So, yeah. Really nice over there against Pekka Ramrather. And I'll see you guys in the next game. On the next game, here I'm up against Far North Legend. Okay, I know this what this guy's playing. He's running Golem Pump because I faced him today, earlier today. And I was running, I was trying some uh, Pekka Goblin Giant Curse deck. And then I played against him and he's playing Golem Pump. And yeah, there we go. And, and then, yeah, I lost to him. Gotta be honest. Uh, I lost 2-1 to him, I guess. He got, I don't know, I got a, I, I think I got 3 crown. Yeah, because I did not have any uh answers to the pump, and then he he got he had like four pumps on the field, and then you know I had no way to defend, and then I lost the game. But yeah, it's time to get the revenge, I guess. And yeah, the deck that I have right now it's it counters them to be honest because I have Inferno Tower, which is really great against Golem, and then I have the Fireball for his pump, and also a really good source of uh pressure with the draw and the bats and everything so let's go for my fireball definitely gonna fireball that pump don't want him to get uh the value out of it gonna go valkyrie super low and then we should be overall okay please the bomber is gonna splash look at the valkyrie walking bro okay it didn't i really hate that interaction where the card or knight or rack whatever it is it's gonna call it's gonna walk like curved and then it gets closer to the tower and then the bomber just splashes. That's such an annoying interaction. Wait, I'm going to get one connection maybe. Let's go. That is huge. Way too much damage and we'll take those. Okay, that's great. That's great. He might go pump up again or maybe golem at the back. But it doesn't really matter to me. Going to go for this and this. And then I should be fine. The, the reason why I play my log is because I wanted my spirit goblin to stay alive. And now he has to play something. Otherwise, I'm going to I'm gonna get like at least 500 damage or so. And not 500 damage, 300 damage, which is still a lot. So yeah, I'll take that one. And I'm pretty sure he's going to go Golem. So I'm going to just go Drill. Yep, there you go. And then I'm going to play my Warbreakers as well if he plays something. Pretty sure he's going to play Lumberjack, right? Maybe? Okay, yeah, he did. He did. He did. That's that's really important. If he did not play the, that Lumberjack, that would have been a little bit bad for me because he could have made a pretty much big push going on with the Lumberjack and Need Dragon stuffs at the right-hand lane. But still, the Inferno is going to carry me, so that's what matters. So, that uh, Bomber is going to die. That's going to land one shot on my tower, but it's going to die. Okay, that's that's what matters. And the E-Drag is also dead. Yep, that's pretty much game over, I would say. So, there's he can make one more push. 
but uh, yeah I'm, and i'm i'm like 99.9 percent sure that it's not gonna work out again because right now he doesn't have he has only evo e-drag which is not gonna do much for him and yeah just play my valkyrie and then fireball and the valkyrie tornado damage and the fireball damage should pretty much kill it yep easy peasy defense so really nice turn over there against this golem deck and yeah i'll see you guys in the next game On the last game, he came up against Farid, so let's see what he's playing. He, he's running Duchess. That is interesting to me, like really, really interesting. From Game of Thrones clan. So I'm just going for my draw at the back of his tower. He's going to go for the, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to fireball, but I'm going to miss that Valkyrie, which is pretty much obvious. But what matters is the, the wizard is dead. And now I can take care of that Valkyrie with the spear goblins, I guess. If he does not support it, of course. So, oh, you went for that. I just, I guess, I'm not too sure if the Inferno is going to be enough. I'm going to play my Spirit Goblins, but just to be safe, because he might have Freeze, he might have Zap, he might have Arrows, we don't know. So, yeah, that's what matters. Okay, some really nice damage again off those Spirit Goblins. And uh, what on earth this is? What? Mega Knights? He got, he got Evil Wizard. I'm pretty sure that was Evil Wizard. Evil Wizard, Evil Mega Knight, Valkyrie Balloon should be some sort of Hano mid ladder deck. Let's go for my draw on this tower because I'm kind of low on Elixir and I want him to defend that. Otherwise, I can't be. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh! This is this is kind of bad for me. Gotta be honest with y'all. Uh, I don't think second defender is like super perfectly. I'm gonna get some. It's gonna get some really nice damage. But what matters is. Now look at his tower guys, I got his tower down to 200 HP and that's what matters. Like he got a lot of damage on my tower, that's fine, he spam everything, but you know, he wasted his tower, he lost the tower, I would say, so. I'll, I'll, I, yeah, yeah, count that tower as a loss bro, that tower is gone, all I need is one fireball to take that tower down. And I don't know what is he thinking about with his push. Inferno way is gonna just carry once again. As you guys can see, Inferno is just insanely good in the meta, I just don't know why people are not running Inferno. In this meta, like, and I when I looked up to top two hundred, there was only there was only lock bait decks, two diff three different lock bait decks, and also this deck who was which was running Inferno in them. Others did not have Inferno, which is really really weird to me. And um, yeah, Inferno is actually really good, really underrated in the meta because it counters like every single card that is in the meta right now, such as Evil Paka, Goblin Giant stuff, and I would say. I would say the reason why people are not using it is because it's kind of, uh, you know, it costs a lot of elixir. It costs uh, five elixir. So, and yeah, in some situations, it gets like no value if you face some sort of spam decks. It gets zero value. Such so as, let's say, a recruit bait. It gets absolute zero value for some, not for some reason. It's obvious why it doesn't get any value because, you know, it deals a lot of damage to the, you know, big troops or stuff like that so yeah really nice one over there and thank you very much for watching the video guys and if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to like and sub and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace